Okay, everybody, welcome back. I'm Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press. Today, I'm going to be re reviewing another novel in my collection of vast library collection of novels. I've got three novels, all titled The Burning Stone, and we're reviewing each one of them. Each, one, each burning stone written by a different writer. Today, we're reviewing The Burning Stone, written by Kate Elliott. It's the third Burning Stone book. We had other Burning Stone books. You can type in Brian Lee Durfee, The Burning Stone, and by God, three videos will show up on your YouTube channel. A Burning Stone book by one author, a Burning St Stone book by a second author, and a Burning Stone book by a third author. Awful, awful. I don't know. I, I, you know I, should I just edit this out? Should I start over? Yeah, fuck it. We'll just keep going. Author. Three authors, three different Burning Stone books. You get the point. I don't know why The Burning Stone is such a popular title with fantasy writers, but I've got three books in my library with the same title, so I thought I would review all three of them at the same time and put them up one after the next. Now I'm kind of wishing I didn't. I don't know why I'm so upset with myself right now. The cover is done by, again, Jody Lee. This is book three in Kate Elliott's Crown of Stars series. You know I reviewed book one, King's Dragon. I reviewed book two, Prince of Dogs. Now I'm reviewing book three, The Burning Stone. And there's book four, book five, book six, and book seven. It's a seven book series, people. Let me make this clear. Seven books in the series. Because for the my, if you'll see on the comments, people have commented on my review of this book and my review of this book. They're like, hey, is that a trilogy? In every one of these reviews, I said it was seven books. <sighs> okay, either you're watching the videos and you're not paying attention. Or you're just not watching the fucking videos. And you're just typing in, you see the name of the video, and you're just like, hey, was that a trilogy? Without watching the video. Because if you watch the video, I count out the books every time. Book one, book two, book three, book four, book five, book six, seven. Seven books in this series, folks. If anybody comments, hey, is that a trilogy? After this lecture, I'm going to come unglued. I, now I remember why I'm so pissed. Now I remember why I was so angry when I was going to do this video. Okay, let's get back to it. The cover is pretty awesome. The cover is done by Jody Lee, who did the covers of all seven of the novels, okay? She didn't do the cover of the first three. It's not a tr trilogy. Seven books in this. Seven. Oh, and by the way, the author, and I think they're good. I think they're great illustrations. One of the other comments that I get, which is a valid comment. Now, these comments that I'm going to talk about now are valid. Some people have said, I've seen this series out and about, and I never really wanted to pick it up because the cover illustrations made it look like a young adult series. And I'm here to tell you, no, this is not a young adult series. This is very, very adult. Young adults would not like this at all. This is Game of Thrones type adult stuff, okay? I love the covers. I love Jodie Lee's style. I can see why people would get the impression that they are um, young adult novels, but they're not. Um, I like these covers. I like the way the Daw Books has presented each one of them, and they all fit. This one's got a weird butterfly person on it. I don't like that cover. But we'll, we'll get to it when, um, you know, since, you know, I, I think everything about this series is great, except I do not like the Butterfly Girl cover. I gotta be honest with you. I, I, when I read this one, I hide in my house. I don't take it out in public with me to read it. If there's anything wrong with Butterfly Girls. And so the problem was, is within me. Problem is within me. I think if you've made it this far in the video, you can tell that the most, most of my issues are uh, bottled up rage. Most of it is uh, anger that I have not let out. It's, 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 it's bottled up. Now I'm wondering if I should really delete the video. I was contemplating it before. 
Now I'm wondering if I should really start over. Because we're five minutes into this thing and I ain't even talked about this book yet. It's been signed. I did have the lovely Miss Kate Elliott sign it for me. I meet the authors. I always get my book signed. I suggest you all do that to what is this about well the prologue is about and i don't want to spoil the other seven books you know we will be spoiling maybe the with some of what i'm going to say next might spoil some of the things that have happened in book one and two but probably not but we certainly won't spoil anything that happened between book four and seven because it's a seven book series But what happens in this is we have a um, opening prologue where there's a ring of stones, standing stones, and there's a stone in the center that's burning. It's on fire. And if you followed my other burning stone book videos, you'll notice there's always a burning stone in the book. Well, this one starts out right in the prologue with our burning. Oh, my God. There's a, It's even right there on the cover. The burning stone is right there on the cover. And this character is circling around the standing stones, the burning stones, and the very center of the standing stones. And it's a portal to another world, which is important because we're, we've been given hints of this other world in books one and two, and now we've got this portal to an alternate universe, similar to what we got in Raymond Feist's um, book, the, the, uh, the uh, magician books, right? The portal to another fantasy world, right? Well, we've got this going on here too. And this is burning stone is the portal to it, right? And it takes and it, and it is important to the rest of the series because our main character, um, Lyath, who, if you remember in books one and two, is the protector of the book of sorcery. Everybody wants the book of sorcery that she's protecting, but she's protecting it, and she's the sorcerer, and she can access this world, and she is now in a conflict. Do I access this world, or do I stay with my husband, Sanglant, the prince? and our, our soon-to-be baby, or do I um, use my sorcery and go explore this alternate universe, which is what I really feel like my calling is that. I really feel my calling is to go into this alternate universe. Not only that, but she knows that her husband's mother is from that alternate universe, which adds another twist to the story. So that's basically the main thrust of this book three in The Crown of Stars, book of seven books. It's not a trilogy. It's seven books. Um, that's the main thrust of it. We've also got, we still got our main bad guys, Hugh, the priest, the priest Hugh, and the evil sister Sabella. They're still there, causing trouble for everybody, causing trouble for King Henry and Sanglant and Lyath. We've got um, Lyath's best friends, Ivor and Hannah. They're in the Eagle's Guard. They're in the Eagle's, uh, what is it called? The Eagle's, the King's Eagles. That's right, the King's Eagles, the elite guard of the realm and their fighters and knights and i love following ivor and hannah in their adventures and then we've got elaine who is kind of the main character of book one he's taken sort of a second seat to lyath now in book two there's a lot less about elaine than the rest of the characters in this which is a only little small teeny weeny drawback in an otherwise fantastic book Book three, I think, might be my favorite of the series. Book three and four, and we'll get to four whenever I read it. Um, but I think it starts off with a bang and a bang, and it keeps banging, and um, it just bangs all the way up until The Butterfly Girl. Which is still a good book, but... You know, it's my secret guilty reading pleasure, The Butterfly Girl cover. Anyway, let's take another look at it. It's a great painting, by the way. Jody Lee does great paintings. I'm not knocking the painting. I'm just... Because I think her stuff is magnificent. I just don't know if it fits the tone of this series one iota. I think that, I think that, I mean, we've already discussed people think these are young adult novels. That ain't helping. That ain't helping. But otherwise, these are fantastically designed. I love them. And uh, that's it. I give this one like I gave these others, man. I gave these others like big one. This this is just a great epic fat Game of Thrones size fantasy series that's just dynamite, people. You gotta read it. You gotta read it. It's full of so much awesomeness. Just watch my other two videos here and just drink in the awesomeness of those videos and then realize that the awesomeness that's in those videos is actually more awesome in the actual book. Burning Stone. This is a 9.5, 10 out of 10 type of novel and series, to be honest. 